serendipity gave me a second chance. And Dr. Coover's secret is that the only thing between my 150 pounds and that wire will be one drop of glue. One drop of glue. Harry Coover had set his sights on an entirely different problem when he invented a new class of adhesives with huge applications. I went to Eastman Kodak as a research chemist. My first assignment was a government contract to develop a material that you could cast gun sights with, cast them so they'd be precision. I synthesized cyanoacrylate, but the problem was everything was sticking to everything. Finally, the government canceled the contract. Six years later, while researching casting materials for jet canopies, Coover showed his cyanoacrylate work to a young chemist in his group, offering a strong warning. I told him, look, don't take a refractive index of this material. If you do, you're going to wreck the refractometer because it's going to stick it together. Well, after another few weeks, he said, Dr. Coover, I took the refractive index and I just went out to the lab and got samples of the material and started sticking everything else together in the lab. Now I could see I had a magic glue that could stick all kinds of things together. It probably is a single material that has more uses than any other material that we have. It's a very potent hemostatic agent. During the Vietnam War, one of the generals came to us he said, I want this for out in the battlefield. When the medics go out in the battlefield, a guy's got a big hole in his belly or someplace, bleeding. And he takes this and just sprays it. And that instantaneously stops the bleeding. Once used to seal or rejoin blood vessels, these adhesives are now used to close wounds and for plastic and dental surgery. Well, it makes a good iterator. First, you have to have a high level of self-confidence. But what one needs to do is keep an open mind and ask yourself, why is this? Had I done that, superglue would have been invented six years earlier.